Now that you've created your free Rapid account, I'm going to show you a few quick tips to help you get started. So first, let's take a look at the sandbox toggle. So on the left hand navigation bar at the very bottom, you can see the sandbox slider button. Once I turn that on, you can see a couple more features just showed up on the left hand side. So the sandbox toggle essentially pushes you into our test environment. And this is indicated with this little flag on the top of the screen. This is super helpful for developers as they code to our API or code to our hosted checkout solution. And it's also super helpful for business owners or who would like to install a rapid payment plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the sandbox toggle and let's talk about plugins. So on this screen, you can see today we have several plugins, apps and extensions. We've created many payment acceptance plugins for some of the most popular e-commerce platforms. And we will be adding new plugins throughout the year. So always be sure to check back uh, just to see if your favorite platform, if we've developed a plugin for that. Couple quick notes on this page. So I am based in the US. So the only plugin that is available to me is actually Magento and Zero. The other plugins are not available in, in the United States. So another thing I wanna point out is are these three dots. So each plugin has these three dots. If I go ahead and select these, you can see two things that show up. First is view instructions and the second is view keys. So I'm gonna go ahead and select view instructions. This brings up our comprehensive documentation for how to install our plugins, apps, and extensions that we've developed so far. So very, very detailed step-by-step -step instructions can be found here. The next thing I'm going to show you are the payment methods. So under my account settings, you can see payment methods. So if I select that, you can see we have all of these payment methods that are active. And this basically means that already today with my current account as it is, I can start accepting any of these payment methods from any of these countries. Under deactivated, we don't have anything right now, but under no access, this basically means all of these payment methods are available, but we just require a little bit more information from you before you can start accepting these payment methods. So if you would like to be able to use these, just send our support team an email and they will ask you for a little bit more information and you will be able to accept these payment methods. Do keep in mind, some take a little bit longer than others. So we request that you have a little patience as we get you added to the various payment methods. The next thing I want to show you is also under settings. And this is how to customize our hosted checkout solution. So I mentioned when I was showing you that the sandbox toggle. If you do want to use our hosted checkout solution, we have some customization options for you. So over here, you can see you can add your logo, which would show up here on the top left hand corner of the hosted checkout page. You can also change the color of the button, shows up here. We also provide you with a fallback URL. So when the payment has been com completed, your customer would go back to whatever URL that you post here. And finally, I'm gonna show you how to invite more users to be able to log into your Rapid Client Portal account. So again, under settings, select users and roles. And if you select this little icon on the top right-hand corner, you can add whoever you would like. And once you set, 
complete the full name, first and last name, and their email address, you then want to choose the role. So this would basically provide them with different access to the client to your rapid client portal account. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the different roles and what they have access to, just go ahead and flip back to our online documentation and select client portal guide. And then we'll go to users and roles. And this table under roles and tasks basically defines all the capabilities that each role would have. So be sure to pay a little bit more, you know, study this table to see what kind of role each user should have that you invite to your account.